Hi, this is Alex Gingrich with Dobeck Real Estate, and this is the March 2011 market update for Glendale, Pasadena, and Burbank. The main theme that I want to illustrate for this update is whether it's a buyer's or a seller's market. This month, we're going to be looking at four different graphs that will show us the relationships between and trends in supply, demand, and price. This first graph that we're looking at right now shows the supply in light green, which are the homes currently for sale, and the demand in dark green, which are the number of homes that have been sold. As you can see the number of homes currently on the market is significantly higher than it was this time last year. It's up about 15%. However, the number of sales was quite low for February, one of the lowest months we've had over the past two years. It's down about 20% compared to this time last year. This means that the market has many months of inventory depicted by this next graph. In fact, it's the highest that we've had over the past two years. The next graph that we're going to be looking at is the average price per square foot for sold properties. This graph has been pretty flat over the past couple years, though it is fairly low right now at an average of $329 per square foot for sold properties. This is hovering very close to the $321 per square foot that was the low over the past two years. The last graph that we're going to look at compares the average list price to the average sale price, which is actually a pretty interesting graph. A couple years ago, there was a significant gap between these two numbers, almost $250,000. The line for average sold price is relatively flat, but the average list price has come down significantly and closed the gap between these two numbers. This tells me that sellers are becoming more realistic with their list price and are now coming to terms with the fact that they cannot sell their property for as much as they once thought. So what does this all mean? We have high inventory or supply. This is good for buyers. We have a low number of sales or demand, which puts downward pressure on prices and will tend to make some sellers more worried or desperate to sell. This is also good for buyers. We have low prices, obviously good for buyers. We have sellers who are being more realistic. This is good for buyers. And best of all, interest rates are still very low. So you tell me, do you think it's a buyer's or a seller's market?